Hey Cloud Gamers, for those of you who have got a Shield TV Pro or have been debating it, this is how you can set up the AI upscaling for Cyberpunk 2077 to get your full 4K. Once you've got the latest version of the Shield TV Pro, you need to go into the menu and enable Apply Upscale while streaming, and then make sure that Detail is on Medium or High, and also that the AI scaling is set to Active. Then you can go and launch the game. I use the GOG edition from GeForce Now here. Looking at the settings then you can see I went with the high preset uh, motion blur to off and then set the ray tracing on, lighting medium and the DLSS to balanced. So looking at some of the driving around gameplay here, we can see the active AI effects here. It is worth noting that the left is basic and the right is the AI upscaling for detail, but this has already been upscaled from a 1080 image to 4K. What you're seeing here is the AI filling in the blanks, which some people have likened to a sharpening filter, but it does seem to be doing a little bit more. And now we're looking at some of the gunplay with the motion here with the AI upscaling enabled can really see those ray tracing effects but we do see as some people have mentioned previously about the frames dropping quite a bit in the city. Although it's not hitting that 60 frames per second it is bouncing between the 40 and 50 mark in this gunfight. So with a little bit of tweaking you could keep it above 60. As we move to the apartment then and look out into the building here, when we switch between basic and AI upscaled we notice that difference quite a lot more. In the basic version everything looks quite blurry, likened to performance mode in some other systems, and then with the AI upscaling detail turned on, everything looks normal. In static scenes these details are a lot more noticeable. But when you're out and about you just feel that something looks off if the AI upscaling isn't enabled. Considering it's a 1080 image that's being upscaled here to 4K via software it is working remarkably well. Now depending on where you're watching this depends on how much of a difference you're really going to notice. TVs seem to be far more forgiving, having the detail on just makes things look a little bit sharper. Can't quite put your finger on it but it does look better. But when you're looking on a monitor, the difference between the basic and the AI upscale detail is very obvious. As we look at the more busy scene here, again when we put that basic on, if you're looking on a monitor you can see just how blurry the world becomes. But as soon as we enable that enhanced detail, once again everything looks crystal clear. Now if you are a GeForce Now founder, the Shield TV Pro is a fantastic way to play on the TV. But if you are not bothered with the 4K upscaling and you are happy with a 1080 image on your TV, which is more than capable because it does switch your TV into 1080 mode, and from previous experience it does work quite well, then a Shield TV, the standard tube, will work just as well. But you just won't get this upscale detail, but then you don't need it if your TV is running at 1080. Running around here we can see those frames per second do seem to hold and as those character models run past we can see that upscale detail is a little bit more obvious. But once again when we come to the environment looking around everything kind of looks normal. And those ray tracing and extra effects do really shine in Cyberpunk. But as we look at the car models we can see that some of the edges look a little bit over sharpened. But in general it is working remarkably well. I'm going to leave you with a bit of gameplay with the AI upscaled version. Let me know in the comments below what you make of the AI upscaling versus the GeForce Now version which we did previously on the channel from the PC. Thanks for watching, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the latest across all cloud gaming platforms. And we will see you next time. I was supposed to stop by Vix anyhow. I got a date. The end is dead. Don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know.
find me once Vic's done dusting your circuits. We'll hash out what Dex has cooked up for us. Waiting on you. We'll see you now. I'll sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little catching up to do. 